Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel. This channel talks about narcissism and how to bring about justice. And uh, today we're going to talk about the tactic of ostracism and how to like dismantle it because narcissists, they use whatever tactic works against you. So sometimes they might use ostracism. They might try to turn people against you. You, you need a plan on how to deal with that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to break that down. And if, even if you don't deal with narcissists and you just have people that are toxic and they just try to single you out and, and push you out of the group, I'm going to teach you how to get back in it. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's jump straight back into the video. All right. What I want to say is that people like look down on this subject and I, I, I don't want people to look down on me for making content about it. It's just it, it's one of those things that people don't like to talk about and people look down on people that talk about this subject for some reason and that's the reason why it's not solved like people still deal with this you know what i'm saying and it's, it's one of those things where there should already be a lot of strategies effective strategies on how to deal with it it's not that difficult of a problem the society is set up to where any social problem like people don't deal with it you know what i'm saying i'm tired of that so i'm gonna go ahead and start solving all all these social problems i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna solve all of them and that's that's my whole goal so that's the reason why i'm doing this you know what i'm saying just in case you think that if you if you want to look down on me go ahead i don't care all right so now in my other videos i've talked about the fact that ostracizing is something it's an activity like there's ostracizers you know what i'm saying it's not just happening to you a lot of this is happening in the moment and it, a lot of people you don't pick it up but there's like strange mysterious things that happen all the time and it only happens to you you know whenever you're about to go talk to somebody it's time to go get back to work whenever you're um trying to talk to someone alone next you know there's a whole bunch of people in your conversation and it'll happen in a way like it, maybe it's just happening but really you're being bullied one of the best ways to deal with any form of hostility is through movement and you use that against ostracism as well ostracizers like to stand within proximity to you whenever you are engaged in a conversation with somebody else and then interrupt it but not interrupt it in a, a way that's really obvious but they slowly join the conversation even though you never invited them in and then they change the subject or slowly kill the conversation or say what it's try to say everything that needs to be said as well like that sounds weird but if you you guys are talking about a certain topic like let's say sports and they want to be the one that says all the news every little point that could be said so that the person they're ostracizing has nothing else to say there's nothing left to be said you know what i'm saying we already done talked about everything why are you bringing that back up Woo! that's what they try to do Another thing is, if they, they're in charge, they'll be the people that will put everybody back to work. Your boss can try to ostracize you. Every time you, you get to talking, they it's time to get to work. What are you guys doing standing around talking? But then when you're not talking, you're being left out and everybody else is talking amongst each other, then it's all fine. Excuse me. <laughs> My bad. Another thing that they, they do once they get close to you, again, ostracism isn't always something that's done amongst a group away from you and then it, it kind of you start to slowly feel it happening a lot of times it's done directly and people don't notice it until it's too late but just facial expressions you know just in general whenever you see a lot of people come around you when it's time like whenever you are are talking talking to somebody and all of a sudden they stop what they're doing they're just watching you or something like that that's normally going to be an ostracizer just in general if you keep seeing them do that do that or try to stand over you like if you're sitting down you know what i'm saying late just anything like getting close getting within proximity to you when you're not you aren't talking to them and that's almost an eerie feeling but they're like almost they're they're straight bullying they're they're almost like trying to be like oh you better not be talking to anybody but they'll be nice about it because they know that 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 makes them seem crazy if they were to actually voice that and now a zoidberg impression <laughs> so that you're you're even confused about it but they still convey their message they still give you face like they they like to stand behind you you know, if you're talking to somebody, they'll position themselves behind you and then give you certain facial expressions or something like that to show the person that you're talking to that maybe they shouldn't be talking to you or show contemptuous facial expression. If the ostracizers are around, you want 
the person you're talking to to have their back to the ostracizers, if if at all possible. You don't want your back to them, and then the, they're throwing the person off that's talking to you. Um, so movement, as in just flat out positioning, like where do you where do you stand? But then movement, as in let me move completely away from. Excuse me. Woo! I wanted to go ahead and add a side note. Remember the subjects that the person that you're talking to about their favorite subject. So whenever the ostracizers come around, change whatever you're talking to back to that subject so that can be more self-absorbed. Use questions, probe them deeper so that they, they're in uh, in a reflective mode and they aren't picking up all the codes that the ostracizers are trying to give. Like you speak in code to the person, which means basically you're not talking directly about the situation, but you, you speak about the situation in a way that they'll get but the ostracizers might be confused by i remember there was one time where i would there's this guy who would say um there's too many birds up around here trying to pick up seeds like he would say something like that now he wasn't being ostracized but he just didn't like how people would he didn't he didn't want people to listen to him talk you know what i'm saying or eavesdrop on him so he would say that to the person he's talking to and kind of signal them like hey, let's let's move somewhere else to where you can move without making a big scene about it without having a direct fight because that's what really what they really want you to do is come and check them and be like hey why are you guys standing around here like why why are you guys trying was anybody talking to you you, you know what i'm saying they want that fight because they they're they've already picked you out and if you want more tips on how to deal with narcissists and how to talk in code and all that there's a link in the description to a playlist and i basically cover all of the tips and all the tricks and they they work they work really well